the motherfucking deal, YouTube. This your boy, Hoodie Gang Dante, in the building. Please comment, like, and subscribe on this video. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Uh, I put a voting poll up there for the Rockets fans or for anybody that know basketball, but basically for the Rockets fans. What is the biggest... What is the biggest impact that the Rockets had? What What's the biggest difference that the Rockets uh changed this, uh throughout the small ball lineup? Floor spacing, uh switching defense or shooting. Uh anybody vote? Anybody can vote, but especially the Rockets fan. That That's a question for the Rockets fan, so y'all answer. Uh, I will uh look at keep looking at the uh, results, and then I will make a, a personal video up on it and let y'all know if I agree or disagree. But this video not about that. Rockets did get their sixth straight win. Very happy. Well, up this morning happy uh like i say i had a bad headache last night so i didn't stream the game i was uh i'm gonna be back on course on monday but like i say uh this is a video about the season recap of the carolina panthers uh the carolina panthers i did the uh dallas cowboys i did the chicago bears but the carolina panthers had a terrible season disappointing season uh um horrendous season uh five and eleven um the uh cam newton was out for the season cam newton did not play and like i say only thing about Cam Newton, uh, like I say, he he's never on the field when you need him to be. Cam Newton was out for the season with a sh shoulder injury. Uh, they end up firing the coach Ron Revere. Uh, Josh Allen end up showing some signs that he he could be good, he could be great. Um, but like I say, pretty much uh pretty much after uh the San Francisco 49ers game, he fell off the face of the earth. So we're gonna go through their notable wins and notable losses. We're gonna go through the, their notable wins. They start off the season um zero two. They losing to the losing to the Rams. Uh, by three points, thirty to twenty-seven, uh, losing to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, twenty to uh, uh, fourteen. Then they come back. They beat the Arizona Cardinals, thirty-eight to twenty. Uh, the uh, that's what I think that's the uh, era of the Josh Allen era right there, thirty-eight to twenty. Then they come in Houston, beat the Houston Texans. Uh, uh, the defense flat out dominated in that game. Uh, the offense, the defensive line, Deshaun Watson them couldn't couldn't get anything pretty much going. Uh, so the uh, Carolina Panthers was able to apply pressure on Deshaun Watson and Bill O'Brien didn't help either because the Rock, the Texans were driving. Then he did it down reverse uh, pass from, to Deion, Deion, DeAndre Hopkins end up throwing an interception, which is I don't know why was that play call. You right there about the goal line. I don't know why you didn't run the fucking football or anything. But like I said, I'm glad Bill O'Brien not gonna be calling the plays this year. I'm gonna make a video up on that. Um, but like I say, uh, Houston Texans end up losing that game. That's a good win for them. Then they beat the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars, um, thirty four to uh, thirty four to uh, twenty seven. At that point, at this point of the time, um, they the, the Panthers were rolling. Josh Allen has not thrown a pick all uh, season so far. Thirty seven to uh, twenty uh, six. They beat the um, they beat him again. They beat the they beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers again. With Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they have no defense. They were shitty all year long. But then this is, was this was pretty much the downfall of their season, of the Panther season. They kind of got exposed by the San Francisco 49ers in San Francisco. San Francisco beat them dramatically terrible. Josh Allen, the quarterback, got exposed uh, after he didn't throw an interception for, the, for his last, I believe. Let me see. He started in Arizona. He last four games. His first four games, he did not throw a pick. He had eight touchdowns and no picks. He finally got exposed against the San Francisco 49ers. That running game, that running game was Tevin Coleman and Matt Breida. All of those guys, they, they they started getting in the group. That defense got exposed. The offense got exposed. Uh, Josh Allen got exposed. Uh, but San Francisco, they're they're pretty good. They they were a very good team. Uh, like I say, they made it to the Super Bowl. They exposed it, uh, Carolina. Running the football, but then again, who didn't Carolina? Who didn't uh, San Francisco do that to? They they exposed uh, Carolina pretty much and Josh Allen. That was part of Josh Allen's downfall. Then they come back to beat Tennessee, thirty to twenty. Uh, then they lose in a close one to Green Bay in the cold, in the snow. They lose a close one. Josh Allen throws a last minute interception in the game uh, when they were right there by I think by the goal line right there I believe. But it was a close. That was a close game. That was that was a very close game. Twenty four uh, sixteen. Then they lose. They get beat. They get beat by the they get beat. They get beat at home. Twenty nine to three. Unacceptable. Unacceptable loss. They get beat at home by the uh, Atlanta Falcons, a team that came in uh, two and seven. They got beat terribly at home. At home by the Cal by the uh, Falcons. That was unacceptable. Uh, then they they get beat by three by the Saints. 
Then they uh lose. They lose to the Washington Redskins. They lose to the Washington Redskins, twenty nine to twenty one. At this point in time, Ron Rivera, I think, was getting was fired. At this point in time, uh, after losing to the Redskins, that was a touching point. Now he's uh he's with the Washington Redskins as the head coach. I'm so happy for Ron Rivera. Uh, so the team that pretty much got him fired, uh, pretty much you know. Got him fired. He's with that team that pretty much got him fired. Uh, responsible for getting him fired. Um, Josh Allen again. They lose uh, forty to twenty uh, in care in in uh, this time in uh, Atlanta. Uh, they lose to the Seahawks and they lose forty two to uh, ten. So like I say, they had a, they start off uh, two and four and two. Then after pretty much after the San Francisco game, the defense and the offense was basically exposed. Uh, like I said. I'm going to go to the team stats. It was a piss poor year for uh, the Carolina Panthers. Uh, but that Texans game, the defense really stepped up in that Texas game, man. Like I say, uh, Josh Allen uh, showed flashes. But like I say, after the San Francisco 49ers game, he was pretty much, Josh Allen was pretty much exposed by the uh, San Francisco 49ers pretty much. Christian McCaffrey, I thought, was an MVP candidate this year. I thought he had a phenomenal, Christian McCaffrey had a phenomenal season, guys. Uh, I didn't you know much fans but about it. Christian McCaffrey had a great off, had a great season, man. Uh, I was very impressed with uh, Christian McCaffrey and how he played uh, this year. Uh, like I say, they said they won't count Newton back. They said they won't count Newton uh, right back. They said they want him back, but like I say, now we'll see what they're gonna do if they with who they gonna choose without jo with uh, between Josh Allen and Cam Newton. Who you guys in the comment section think uh, they should uh, choose out of Josh Allen and uh, Cam Newton as a starting quarterback? They said they want Cam Newton as a starting quarterback. They said that's who they want as a starting quarterback. Uh, like I say, Josh Allen was inconsistent. He had over 3,000 passing yards, 17 touchdowns, 16 uh, interceptions. Uh, Josh Allen, like I say, he was kind of exposed in the San Francisco 49ers uh, game. He was exposed a, a lot in that game. Uh, Josh Allen went, went his first uh, four, went his, probably his first four games, his first four games since the uh, Cardinals game. Uh, without throwing an interception at that point in time, he did not throw an interception. But like I say, hey, it is what it is. Uh, everybody get, get exposed. And like I say, Chris Hogan, uh, they brought in. He didn't do too much this year. Uh, Corey Moore, I mean, uh, DJ Moore showed some flashes. Uh, Samuel showed, showed some flashes. I, I like the good receiving core. Greg Olson, who left, who could, uh, can't stay healthy. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, 1,300 uh, rushing yards. Uh, 15 touchdowns, 4.8 yards per carry for Christian McCaffrey. Pretty much an unstoppable force. He was an unstoppable force against the uh, Houston Texans. Um, in that game, passing, the guy can do everything, man. The guy can run. The guy can pass. The guy can uh, run. I mean, the guy can uh, pretty much uh, catch balls out of the backfield. And like I said, he's a pretty small back, but... The guy's physically strong. The guy's physically strong. I was very impressed with Christian McCaffrey, man. Uh, DJ Moore, um, a second-year player out of uh, Maryland, was very, 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 very good receiver. Over 1,000 receiving yards, four touchdowns, um, 13 yards per catch. Uh, last year was pretty good for DJ Moore. He's only six feet, two hundred and ten pounds. Very impressed with DJ Moore for the Carolina Panthers this year. Uh, the defense was inconsistent at times. Uh, uh, the defense was inconsistent. Uh, the cornerbacks was very inconsistent. James Bradbury, I think he's a free agent. Curtis Samuel um, was Curtis Samuel was okay this year for the uh, Carolina Panthers. They got a young, they got a young uh, receiving core. Jarius Wright, the veteran in that receiving core. I mean, who caught a big ass pass against? I mean. I gotta say against the Houston Texans, he caught a big ass pass against the Houston Texans. Uh, pretty much to put away the game. Uh, Samuel Curtis Samuel, um, six touchdowns, fifty four catches, uh, six hundred and twenty seven uh yards for the Carolina Panthers this year. So their receivers didn't do too bad this year. Their receivers did I right this year, but I say a disappointing season for Carolina. Uh, let let me know in the comment section if you're a Carolina Panthers fan. Uh, what you guys who they who who, who you guys should start out of, out of Cam Newton? Y'all think y'all should. Trade away, y'all think y'all guys think y'all should 
Trade away Cam Newton. Uh, keep uh, y'all want Josh Allen uh, to start. The uh, to start. Let me know what y'all uh, think. Sh sorry about the commercial. Y'all want Cam Josh Allen to start, or y'all want Cam Newton, or y'all want uh, Cam Newton to be traded? Because like I say, Cam Newton is never on the field. He has a huge impact when he's healthy and when he's out there on the field. Christian McCaffrey stuffed his game up a lot. Uh, Josh Allen needs a lot of work to do. The receivers are pretty good, and the defense needs to be more consistent. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe on this video, guys. Carolina Panthers 5 and 11 uh, season was a, definitely a disappointment. I got more reviews coming up. Uh, We're going to stay in the NFC. I got more reviews coming up. Comment, like, and subscribe, guys. I'm out. Much love. Peace. Peace, guys. Go Rockets.